Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your guest host. My name is Dr. Nasser, and we have got something absolutely amazing for you on tap today, folks. It's another one of our reaction videos. This time, it's our favorite senator, or one of our favorite senators, Josh Hawley, questioning Colleen Shogun, Dr. Colleen Shogun. She is nominated by the Brandon administration to be the leadership role, the person in charge of the National Archives. And folks, you have got to watch this video. Amazing what a clash between her. You can just see the um, elitism, you know, come out from this person as she's being grilled by Senator Hawley. And he just goes on the attack with just exactly what he does. Brings out the evidence and one by one by one literally destroys these witnesses. We're going to get to all of that in the next few seconds, but before we do that, we just want to hope that you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, like, share, and follow us, and put your comments down below. Share your thoughts. What did you think of our reaction? What did you think of the video? Let's go to this fiery exchange right now. Here last year, a number of senators asked you, including me, a series of questions about article you'd written public statements you had made on social media that were, I have to say, pretty grossly partisan, and I thought offensive, and you and I went back and forth about it. After that, a number of us asked you questions for the record relating to these statements. I want to follow up on one of them. I, in particular, asked you to give us a full accounting of the public posts that you had made on Twitter. You had locked your Twitter account before you came before this committee. It had been previously been public. I asked you to provide the, the public posts that had previously been available on Twitter because the ones that we have were pretty disturbing, you responded as follows, and I quote, my personal Twitter account is comprised of posts about my mystery novels, events at the White House Historical Association, Pittsburgh sports teams, travels, and my dog, end quote. Is this an accurate statement? Yes, Senator. I just remind you you're in drove. Is this an accurate statement? Yes, Senator. Well, let's talk a little you can just a little bit about you your, your Twitter posts then that I was asking you about. On February 18th, 2022, you posted on Twitter bemoaning the dropping of mask requirements for children, including those under the age of five. Do you remember that post? No, Senator. That, those tweets were in my personal capacity. Uh, no, 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 no. I asked you, would you give all public posts that you had made on Twitter... You said no, effectively, and you said that your Twitter posts consisted of mystery novels, events at the White House Historical Association, Pittsburgh sports teams, travels, and my dog. And you just told me now under oath that you stood by that. So now let's talk about your Twitter posts. On February 18th, 2022, you posted bemoaning the fact that mask requirements for children under the age of five, one of whom I happen to have, by the way, had been dropped. Is that a post about your dog or sports teams? My social media is in my personal capacity. Answer Senator. my question. This, folks, this is the smug face of an elitist POS. Okay, I very, very rarely use that acronym POS. You know what it stands for. But these people here are the epitome, the epitome of white liberal, wokeism, social justice warrior, virtue signaling POSs. And she has the temerity and the nerve. Basically, she's taken the Fifth Amendment. I mean, what teeth do our, what teeth does the Senate nomination committee have if you bring in a witness and they perjure themselves right in front of Congress, right in front of the Senate, by blatantly lying, saying that first, no, I only have, you know, nothing is, I just talk about my dog, I talk about Pittsburgh sports, I talk about my walks, I talk about my food, I talk about this, I don't talk about anything else. And what the hell does a librarian know about mask mandates? This lady, this lady right now, she already is starting to piss me off. Immediately. Within two seconds of hearing her voice and seeing her face, I was already upset. She's already getting on my noise. please, because you've testified under oath that you only posted about your dog and sports teams and novels, and you also said you wouldn't give this committee any of your public posts. So, is your post on February 18th, 2022, bemoaning the lifting of mask requirements for children 
under the age of five, who I might just ask all of the data has said is extremely harmful to children, these mask requirements, we'll leave that aside for now, is that a post about your dog or sports teams? Yes or no? My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. Yes or no, Ms. Shogan, you are under oath before this committee. And I have to say, you have placed this issue squarely in record by repeatedly refusing to answer. Yes or no? My personal, my social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. So you're not answering my question. Let's talk about another post. 26th of May, 2022, you talk about an assault weapons ban. Retweet a post, ban assault weapons now. Say you agree with this idea that uh, you have to be a certain age to buy so-called assault weapons in America. Is that a post about sports teams or your dog or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. What about the post on, dis on January 5th of 2021 in which you say that Ted Cruz ought to stay in his own lane and not worry about what's going on in Pittsburgh? This is a, re a reference, I think, to uh, questions he had about uh, the certification of the last election. Is that a post about your dog or sports teams or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity. Senator. What about uh, the post, you remember December 10th, 2020, where you said that uh, you were hoping that President Trump would have his vetoes overridden and you agreed with the post that, that he was a weak policy president? Is that a post about your dog or sports teams or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity. What about your post on January 5th, 2021, in which you speculated that President Trump would pardon himself next, participating in a conversation about the certification of the Electoral College? Is that a post about sports teams or mystery novels or uh, your work as the, at the White House Historical Association? My social media is in my personal capacity. So she is getting absolutely lambasted she is getting skewered right now she is probably okay peeing her dress peeing her pants right now even though she's answering this she knows that these comments are part of the record that people are going to watch this thing and they're going to know what a pos she actually is at least those of us that are on the right the people on the left the Democrats had nominated her. Oh, they don't give a crap. She, they think that she's probably the next best thing, you know, since sliced freaking white bread. Okay? But she, I mean, he is absolutely destroying her credibility in terms of her trying to say that she's neutral in all this. She wants to be in charge of the National Archives, folks. That is a very, very important position. And this is the lady that the Brandon administration... You know, that, see, that they want activists that go in there and basically do everything except the job that it calls for. Let's hear some more from Miss Colleen Shogun. What about the uh, post? Do you remember this one? I said, we seem to be having an incredible case of amnesia, but maybe you remember this one. This is from December 3rd of 2021, in which you advise an individual who goes by Meg on social media that the Library of Congress, who advised this person to complain about religious flags that have been planted at the, on the grounds of the Library of Congress, and you say that they ought to be removed. And you go on to give this person advice about how to complain and have them removed. Do you remember that post? My social media is in my personal capacity. Do you remember the post? Capacity. My social Do you remember media is the in post? my personal capacity, Senator. I, I have to say, I have been here for four years in the Senate. I have never seen a witness stonewall like this before. Never. And I've seen a lot. This is extraordinary. Do you remember this post? December 3rd, 2021. My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. I mean, this is unbelievable. And you want to be the archivist of the United States. You lied to us under oath. You lied to us in your QFRs. You just lied to me a second ago under oath. And now you're sitting here stonewalling, not answering questions about public posts that you've made. Are you a lawyer, Ms. Shogun? Ooh. No, Senator. Are you familiar with the Shirtlet case at the United States Supreme Court? No, Senator, I'm not. Well, in that case, the Supreme Court held that, in fact, it constitutes viewpoint discrimination for a government entity to remove religious flags from its property when it's opened up the property to allow other people to put flags on it. Exactly the question that you were addressing in your public posts on Twitter 
You're giving legal advice, which you're not qualified to give, directly contrary to the United States Supreme Court. I just wonder, does this have to do with your view that you wrote about that the religious right is connected to the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics? Is that... Just to let everybody know, she wrote a paper basically saying that people, you know, uh, Republicans, conservatives, are stupid, idiotic, moronic, retarded, because the presidents that represented them in terms of being Republican, like Ronald Reagan and George Bush and others, basically um, talked down to them. That's what she thinks of Republicans, of people that are Trump voters, people that live in the South, flyover country, you know, those people that are part of country class, not country club class. So as an elitist, she basically wrote a position paper, several of them, basically saying that the Republican presidents basically played to the stupidity of the American electorate that elected them into office. That's what he's talking about right now. Is that why you said what you said about religious flags, that the religious right is a force for anti-intellectualism? Explain that to me. No, Senator. Idiot. Do you stand by your comment that the religious right part of the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics? Senator, that, that article was written. It was about how Republican presidents use common sense terminology to effectively communicate with Americans. Yeah, in which you said that the religious right, the rise of the religious right is part of the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics. I just point out that's the article in which you say uh, anti-intellectual, the title is anti-intellectualism in the modern presidency, Republican populism, very nonpartisan. Um, <laughs> Dr. Shogun, I'm going to ask you again. Will you give to this committee your public posts on Twitter? Will you make them available to this My committee? social media is in my personal capacity. Mr. Chairman, I have to tell you, this is the most extraordinary thing I have seen in my brief time in the Senate. I have never seen a witness blatantly lie under oath like Dr. Shogun has just done to this committee, stonewalled this committee, and just repeatedly refused to answer my questions about her own posts that are in public. For these reasons, I will oppose your nomination, and I strongly, strongly urge this committee to take action on this and force this witness uh, to, to own up to the fact that she is, she is. This is absolutely extraordinary. What is the use of having the ability in Congress or in these Senate hearings to call in a witness who basically is, you know, takes the oath and says that they swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They're sworn in. Perjury is a crime. It is a criminal offense. And this lady, why can't these, the thing that I don't understand is, you know what, is I would have basically said that, you know what, you are perjured yourself under oath. You are going to be under arrest. We're putting you in jail. Call the officers. Haul her ass out of court put her in jail, make a spectacle of it, make a spectacle of her, let these people know that you're not going to take this crap as you question these freaking witnesses. They are making a mockery of the system. They know they go in, they're going to squirm a little bit, they're going to be a little hot under the collar, they're going to take some questions for the 5, 10, 15 minutes that they're over there. They know it's going to be out there for everyone to see, but they don't give a damn. Because they know there's no freaking teeth. You can lie your freaking derriere off, I guess. It doesn't mean a damn thing. People get subpoenaed. They don't show up. Nothing happens. Life goes on as usual. If you or I were before this or in a court of law and we perjured ourselves, we'd be put in freaking jail. We'd be walked out of there with their hands behind our back. That's the truth. How do these elite POSs, these social justice warrior POSs, these virtue signaling POSs, how in the world did they get away with it? Amazes me. Amazes me. Unbelievable. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your guest host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, and follow us. Put your comments down below. 
I expect to see a lot of comments on what you think of Colleen Shogun and what do you think of Senator Hawley. Was he right in the way he asked the questions or is Colleen Shogun, per- she's perfectly within her rights to do that, but she, in terms of, uh, I think it would be better if she said I'd take the fifth instead. But she is blatantly, blatantly she was lying in these things here with her answers and other questions, you know, that uh, she, that were submitted to her. Anyways, my final point is when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Like this moronic idiot here, Colleen Shogun. Folks, take care and stay safe.